Hello, time traveling strategists and mech pilots, welcome back to Into the Breach and playing hardball. And our yet still surviving Harold Schmidt and our new friend Archimedes, fire and forget and skilled. Well, and now we will see what this beetle leader, the grand beetle leader is about. So, and we are still crawling on our gums. Yeah, we are, we are crawling, uh, trying to save as many people as possible. 13,000. Uh, we can manage this one, then we will also uh, see the next, the fourth island. So, Pinnacle Tower is under attack. My analysis processor is unable to identify the species of egg threatening us. Caution is advised. Well then. So we can gain two more of these uh, corporate reputation stars. So let's see. That is. Oh, a beetle leader. Oh, and he is a very nasty sword, huh? A hive leader. Charge and light every tile on the uh, in the path on fire. Wow. And he's got hardened carapace, so he's uh, getting one point less damage. So I guess the best option is probably, this is ice, to actually push him into the ice. Huh? So let's block him. Let's block him. Uh, oh, and we need to kill this thing. Ah, he's got the... Uh, the protection from this thing. Ah, oh, so actually, let's let's go there and here then. So like this. Oh, come on! That was nasty. And we only have two points in our power grid. Now he can't go anywhere. This guy will definitely attack this building because we can't pull him out of there. And he's also hardened. So I guess Oh, no, and he's he's definitely uh, going to uh, destroy the buildings, huh? Oh no, and we only have two points. Oh no, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. Is everything over now? Even because my first thinking was uh, to push him just back, but he's running doesn't matter but ah yeah but we could use him and shoot the fire here and then he's in the cloud actually so that was would solve this guy or actually no actually even better he could go here push him there then he will run into the mountain and he's before this guy. And I was thinking with him destroying this rock, but he can't push anybody. Oh, but they are nicely in one direction. Very nice. So he can actually just shoot everybody like this and then as he dies first I guess they they won't be protected so he should die as well and then we have two mechs to do something about this guy and what oh no but he does three damage right yes but if he pushes him there then he will be killed. 
because this is all not there anymore. But I think this is the only choice we have. So we probably we can't attack him this turn. Or we can. No, we can actually. Because then he can just shoot the fire here and uh, have him in the cloud. And then he takes at least one damage. And he's not charging there as well. Okay, yeah, that's, that's a solution. All right then. Very nice, so very good. Oh no, he won't die. He should die, right? Oh no, so it... Uh oh. oh, but actually... So if he... He can go here, push him in there now, then he's dead. Uh, no, he needs to push him there, and can he... Oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. So he pushes him there, then he crashes into the rock, which is also good. And he will just shoot this guy um, with fire. And then there, there will be a cloud there as well. Although that doesn't matter. And then this one will be saved. Right? No, yeah. No, actually he will crash him and kill him. He will crash him and he will push the cloud there. I think that's better. Like there. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's better. And this way we can... Very nice. Oh yeah, let's keep the move for the moment. For later moment. Yeah, I think it's, we just do it like this. Yes, very nice. But we need to... Uh, put more pressure on this guy. So let us rather prevent this thing from coming out. could go here, push this one into him, both get one point of damage. Ah uh, oh yeah, but this thing will use its tongue to go there, huh? We used up the uh, EM railgun. He could go here, lights on fire, but shoots against him. And then... He, uh, no, I think he needs to go here again. Oh no, he, go, he goes there, he goes there, lights him on fire, he's again in the, um, in the cloud, gets another damage. And he can bombard him or, or him. Yeah, I think that's probably the best. So let's do that. Here, do this one. And then you. Oh, you, oh, you can't go there. Oh, okay, so then you go here. And do this. So we have two more turns to kill him. For four. Yeah. It's not optimal, actually. So you... Yeah, you got, got just go there, preventing another one to come out, and this way he will probably or he will probably stay there somewhere as well.
Oh, nice. He will run into the water this way. Very nice. He will be dead, right? If you go here, he will just run into the water. <laughs> yeah, should that should work, right? Good. And then we can... We can... Uh, oh... Okay, he can he can push this one there and then he will attack this tile but I'd rather actually kill him but I guess we can't this one what will he do ah he will attack there oh no will this one he will uh, he will pull himself there I'm not sure to the object so he shouldn't move his position right if he does he's three four no he will kill himself and he will fall into the water definitely okay good so he can go here shoot him he's standing there with one hp uh, attacking this tile because he's only attacking one tile And then actually, uh, oh well, actually he could go here and push this one there, and then he will uh, prevent this guy from coming out and get one damage. Yeah. So let's do it like this. And then, oh, he can, he, no, he, the, the plane will fly over him. Or rather, the plane should probably kill this one over there. Because he's nasty with the, ro the rocks he's producing. So actually, yeah, so the plane can actually rather kill him off flying there. Than he... From there can shoot this one on this field. After he is gone. He goes there and then... And he can actually push him on this field. Uh, because then he's getting the storm cloud. The damage from the storm cloud. Okay then, so let's do that. Bit. Killing this guy off. He's going there. He's going here. He shoots this guy. And he pushes this guy over there. And then he will die as well because uh, the thing that comes up will kill him. All right then. Yep. Well, actually, we could, for another point of damage, we could prevent another one from coming down. Do we actually get anything? Like, no. Achievements. You want to read this? Challenge runs. Oh yeah. Oh, I think this will be a long time to get. Uh, finishing a corporate island without taking building damage. Backup batteries. Good summer region. Yeah, well. No, okay, so nothing. All right then. So let's rather not have the damage. 
and we I think we will manage like this. Yes. Good. He's dead. Very nice. And oh no, I forgot he's so he's uh, he's so big he can't die in the water. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I forgot. It's just one turn now and he has three. He has three points. But he can kill him. Going here over him, bombing him for two. And then he's in the cloud and gets another point of damage and then he's gone. Good. And then this thing, he can push him there. Although that doesn't really matter. Oh no, actually he can shoot fire on this tile. Which will cause him to be in the cloud and then he should lose this net. He can then go into the fire uh, and not push this one anywhere. Okay, so, so he will actually die. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Um, can we can we help him somehow? Well, actually, he has six. One, two, three, four, five, and he can just push him away. Oh yeah, nice. So, and then actually, he can push uh, the big one, the nasty bug leader, beetle leader, against our plane, and then he will die. Definitely. Okay, let's do it like this. So he flies there first, bombs him. And then we are making sure that he's really dead and not that there is something, you know, like because of the last turn or stuff. Oh no, oh no, that was bad thinking. I oh, know, yeah, no, 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 it's all fine. So like this. Good. Now he goes there. Because we can't go here, but we will save our pilot. And he's dead. Very good. We got the star and we protected the corporate tower. Very nice. And just so they don't get any ideas of walking to the tower now. Uh, it doesn't matter. So, like this. Very nice. Very nice. Be honest, did you think that we could pull this off? So, thousands of lives were saved today. I'm thankful for the time you have sacrificed to aid us. Well, it's all fine. Another 1000 saved. Very nice. Region secured, so we've got seven points to spend. Let's, let's check the shops. What is this? Vortex Fist. Oh, cool. But we don't have that mech. A grappling hook for the brute class, okay, but we already have the full plane. What's this? Gemini missiles for the ranged class. Oh, that's nice. Launches two, but it's also just one use, but for three damage. Okay, so let's check this one out, but I think we are fine with this one. We invested into it. What's this? Passive. Psionic receiver. Max use bonuses from Vexion. Uh, yeah, I'd rather kill them actually, but we'll see. Okay, then so. Um, no, but I think it's it's all rather fine. But we can donate this mercury fist. So let's donate it. We get one more. Now we've got eight points, which is good. So we get two reactor cores. Can we? What can we do? This one for two. Yeah, we could have used it so often already for two and then for the next two we get uh, we get two more grid. So like this. I think that's pretty nice. Range. I wonder what timeline did this reactor core technology come from? Alright, so, so, well, things don't look that bad anymore. 
can like continue like this. Oh no, okay, we have to leave the island. All right then. Detritus disposal. By completing three islands, we've unlocked this one. In future games, we will be able to visit this one. Okay. Detritus tech can break down any matter into its base elements. Their factory cities are devoted to waste removal and recycling, and there's some nasty stuff to be had. Threat scanner. However, guys, I think, you know, there, there is this... Uh, the achievement also this one there is a three island victory thing and we have not so much stuff here i mean we could do this one or try this one to get even better but it said the the difficulty scaling so i feel maybe we should try this one and i know from playing the normal version of the game when it was rather new that this should be only one map so I think uh, this this might be the good thing, yeah? uh, the, the right decision. And then with another mech squad, we'll try this one. Yeah? The Vec driven off the islands, you have a chance to wipe them out at their source. You are humanity's last hope. Volcanic hive, yeah. Or well, I think there are two missions or something, right? Yeah, because now we don't have to uh, defend stuff i think oh no i think they are i think they are dropping something possibly right but let's see power grid out of range emergency deploying remote power pylons they'll keep you connected to the grid oh yeah okay no actually this is, this is oh yeah we need to defend these things okay ah there's lava coming huh volcano yeah Okay. Well then, let's go here and shoot them dead, huh? All all of this, they will everything will be dead. Very nice, and then he can No, he can go there and shoot him on this field. And he can push him one further and then he will die there and also uh, prevent the guy from emerging. So let's go here. It's very nice to have a very mobile mech like this one. So like this. Very nice. Very nice, right? He's going there or rather here. So we are more flexible. There. You are pushing him further. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, I made a mistake. Oh, no. Oh, no. This one, they will emerge after him. Oh, no. Could there have been another solution? Yes, if he pushed him first. Oh, well then. Let's go back in time. goes here shoots everyone dead he goes there pushes him here he goes there shoots him and then he dies all right then so let's end the turn oh no can he probably well it's Uh, nah, no, let's uh, let's keep them emerging because otherwise we could be overwhelmed. So there's lava. This will kill us. Oh, that nasty thing. Oh, what's that? Crab. 
Launches artillery attack on two tiles. Okay, so we need to push him back one. Or rather, no, he's attacking after the three. Okay. But we can push him on this tile. It doesn't matter. So he goes here, pushes him on that one. He will die there. Because the volcano's also environment will kill him off first. Uh, he can neutralize him by flying on this one and yeah, being there and then he can also shoot him and pushing him against him. So that's two damage, four damage plus the push and that's five and he's dead. Right? So he goes here. Oh no, but then this guy will attack us. This guy will attack the these tiles. Oh no, he will be dead. Yeah, sure, he will be dead. Alright then, so let's go here. Be dead over there. Let's hope I'm correct, right? But it should be okay. So he goes there. He goes here. Flies over him. Like this. And then he shoots him. He's already dead. So, very nice, right? And okay, let's make him a little bit more flexible more in the central position. And he's even repairing. Yeah, I didn't think about the repair. Yeah, okay. Very nice. Smash and slash. Oh, what's that? We did something with us. There's more lava. Okay, so what is what's happening? This one is hive targeted. The Scion Tyrant will do one damage all friendly units every turn. Oh. Okay, nasty. So you can go for six, one, two, three, four, five, and push him there. Oh, then this one will again be, be pushed against these. That's not good. I guess he can go on this tile, but then he will take one damage. He shoots him. He can go for four. One, two, three, four. No, that's not good. Yeah, so actually, what's this? Lava behaves like water, but inflicts fire on surviving. Okay, no, we are not doing that. Uh, oh, that's not good. So just the only thing we can do... Oh no, he could shoot the, the fire on him. He will be dead next turn. And neutralize him in the cloud. And these two can actually... Uh, he can push him out of the way. Oh no, he can push him. He can push him on this tile. And then he will uh, fall into the into the water and possibly even uh, attack him as well. Yeah, that is very smooth, isn't it? That is smooth. And the plane will take care of this guy up there. Alright. So you just stay... Or you go, go here. Yeah, let's go there. So we are more flexible. We shoot this guy. Very nice that he has this weapon. He will go here, has enough uh, armor. Going here. I wonder if he will attack him, but that, that we will see. You go here. 
or may maybe rather here and then uh, we're standing there I, I think it's better so like that's right Very good oh and I shouldn't forget he has the ability now to fly over two tiles actually so that's fine oh and oh, we are but we are we are burning now huh Well, I guess that's fine, so let's go here. Or no. This guy will... Uh, the Alpha Scarab. He will not die. So let's rather block this area. And by the way, I wonder if the auto repair would... Uh, reduce the, or, or uh, get rid of the fire it would be also interesting to know so let's see what's happening now good he's dead not damaging us anymore went very elegantly into the water. Okay, the rocket can go here, shoot him against this guy, and he will die because of damage two plus one push damage. And this guy will only attack this tile, so he is neutralized for the moment. He can walk through one, two, three, three. Oh no, one, two, three, four. Push this guy there, so he's in the fire. Takes one damage next turn. What is with him? Ah, he attacks there, okay, and he dies from the volcano the volcanic projectile okay then and then he can attack someone of these okay nice nice and smooth let's go here like this you go there right and then he's uh, in the cloud as well very nice so And then actually yeah, we should probably kill this one off. So we can fly there and then jump over two tiles. And then we are here, although we are a little bit far away, but this way we can at least get the kill. Very nice. Very nice, isn't it? That was smooth, wasn't it? Incoming seismic activity, brace yourselves, tremors on sensors, hold on. Oh my goodness, we are falling down the mountain and this whole area, the whole volcano. Sending down power pylons, keep them operational, we don't have any more. Not trying to be negative, but our mechs cannot take out this hive, it's immense. Deploying a rainfield bomb, but defend it while it primes and it will destroy the hive. Okay then. So we are to keep the VEC from rainfield's dangerous toy. Let's get to it. Ah oh, yeah. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's very nasty. 
we can probably we can do three damage what are they doing they are all attacking the pylons and we have four hit points on the pylons and what's this the firefly leader oh my goodness the hive leader launch goo projectiles in two directions out of his mouth and out of his a point uh, dot a dot uh, okay so we need to uh, can push him there oh that's so bad it would be nice to push him like onto this tile then he would be directly dead but here oh it's also falling rock oh nice oh no he can't go there oh so sad because he can move afterwards right so actually is attacking there and he's there oh my goodness and then we are four down they would destroy everything and the game would be over already that's not good is there another solution well the plane can uh, neutralize both of them And how much damage is this thing actually doing? Four. Oh my goodness. Four damage. Okay, so then we cannot block him. I was thinking about putting the plane and fly like from flying from here to there. But then maybe we uh, fly here, bomb these guys. Plane will be there. We'll block this one. I mean we could we could push him back with the rockets uh, and then he's standing there so he got he's getting three damage already um, and then he could so if he stands like there or something like there and then he could go here and push the bomb one back but he will destroy two pylons but not the the bomb Maybe we even get lucky and he only destroys one or so if uh, the defense percentage uh, is sufficient. Yeah, I think. Yeah. And well, it would be so nice to push this one in the on this tile or something. Okay then, so let's do it like this. Oh no, by the way, can we can we possibly shoot someone dead? With the, uh, here with the AM railgun for four. Could kill these guys directly actually. But maybe we should rather save that one. Or actually, can he go? No. No, no, that was wrong thinking. But I mean, if he goes here, he can go twice, right? No, no, he can't. He can only, uh, he can go twice after pushing someone. Well then, I wish they had asked before sending down the pylons where we want them so yeah I think it's still the best choice so he goes here flies over them will block this one they will be neutralized and taking two damage he will 
go there, push him back one, suck up four damage, which is really bad. Uh, no, he, he will go there and push this one back. Yeah, and then he will suck up the damage, yeah. Now actually it would be helpful if he had the this power shield. Yeah, but I thought that it would be better. Now we see it was a good decision that we can fly over two tiles actually. Yeah, although now, yeah, no, uh, because otherwise he would be dead. So let's do it like this. Attacks are cancelled. You go there. Oh, actually, do we actually have to you do it? Because we could also go here and shoot fire on this tile and then he's in the fog as well. And then yeah and he, well, but well he does one damage but he won't be doing anything there actually and he can't get out of there as well so actually he uh, would be effectively neutralized on this field oh yeah nice maybe that is actually a smart thing to do so let's go here like like there maybe yeah so like this like so right now he can go here just oh no sorry sorry it is not even necessary now um you can go here and push him back one this way these guys will get they will be dead as well very nice wasn't that smooth but now we need to block him so let's let's stay there he will not kill us Very nice, right? Oh, no more lava. I guess now we are using the the laser kill off these three can go here push him there one more <coughs> and he will shoot him with the rocket causing two damage oh no that, that we can't do now we can't block him anymore Oh, the, what's this? A wriggling, wriggling alien forms in the uh, in the walls. Yeah. But he could go here and shoot him, or like there and shoot uh, the cloud on him. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. He goes here. Oh no, he can't. So he needs to go here. He goes here, pushes him there. And then he goes there. Uh, no. Oh no, we can't do it. Or like there. 
and then we shoot uh, fire on this uh, on this tile and then he's in the cloud and can't shoot or maybe we should put him on fire actually hmm hmm like this right on fire because then he also gets uh, one point of damage every turn and he goes here and shoot this one on these four for four damage very nice can go here how far can this thing go three tiles oh there will be tentacles coming up and then it's lava okay yeah, so let's go here Impressive. Pushes this one on that tile, he will die. Pushes this one on that tile, he will run. Possible. Oh, and uh, fall into the lava. And well, he will not die, but will burn up there. Um, this one, he can go here. Shoots him. Oh yeah, there on that tile he will be on fire and this guy will actually uh, attack him, so he will die as well. And then he can fly from here over both of them. Oh, that is smooth, isn't it? Yes. Right? Because the environment is for before this guy, before the number five. Very smooth, right? You will kill him. Oh no, actually. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter actually. No, let's let's run him into the uh, into the lava. So then he can go here and then. Actually, both of them will be dead. That's fine. Very nice. So, just like that. Now you will... I wish I could repair him. Let's go here. And turn. Well done, Pilot Archimedes. There's the benefit of hard work and staying focused. Oh no, he dies actually there. Okay, nice. Oh, where did these guys come from? This is all tentacles. He's not attacking. He's attacking those.
he can shoot this one. Uh, he crashes. He gets two damage and he crashes there. Yeah, but then we can't do. Oh well. Well, the. Oh yeah, Archimedes could sacrifice himself, go on this tile, get on fire, but push him against him. And then he would die, and the power grid would be safe. <clears throat> because the plane can't do anything. Except, well, actually, like, fly here and then... Oh yeah, actually, yeah, that's something we can do. So he flies here, flies over them. This one is dead. They will also not attack us next turn with this uh, Scion attack, which is attack number one. Yeah, I'm sorry, Archimedes, but you need to sacrifice yourself. Oh, by the way, oh, he's a really good pilot. Plus three grid defense, and he's skilled. So he's really good. Would be nicer to actually uh, keep him. But no, Harold Schmidt is also good because he's a technician. It's, ah, no, but he's invulnerable, but yeah, he, he can't uh, sacrifice himself because he can't fly over there. Okay, then this one oh actually no he can go here and crash him into that one and then he doesn't need to die very good Very nice, right? He flies here, flies over there. Uh, why, why did he bomb the thing? Oh, come on. I thought he wouldn't destroy his own building. But that's also good to know. So he's really doing a bombing run. And now we've got two grid, but it should be okay. Got two grid left. Now it's fine. It doesn't do anything. The Renfield bomb is ready. I recommend you leave now or you'll share a grave with the VEC. I depart in search of another timeline as advanced as my original one. Update. Data drives ready for temporal breach. It looks like I'm off again. New timelines, new discoveries. Okay, nice. So we, keep, keep, we get to keep all the pilots now or something. Okay, so that is a huge explosion on Earth and we won, thanks to the valiant efforts of Harold Schmidt, Archimedes and a robotic autopilot. The VEC hive has been destroyed, saving this timeline from ultimate doom. Huma humanity can now begin to recover from the destruction wrought by the VEC. We, we saved 14.095 lives. A thousand lives and the total earth life saved approximately 4.6 billion and that's it that's the game right so well there is uh, there are plenty of other mechs to play with um, and the fourth island wait so I think well let's take a short look at the credits I think I think I'm not going to um, let them run to the end uh, because uh, yeah I want to show the the other max now or actually rather click on what we could do and we should get some golden coins now and but this is the game um, and apparently this advanced version didn't change anything about it uh, there are just more beasts more monsters and. Uh, more abilities and stuff and possibly other weapons also and I think there are other mechs like from the original version 
just I guess so the game uh, is a little bit more replayable um, yeah and my conclusion is well it's it's a small thing the the game mechanics is pretty nice in my opinion um, and structurally it's an interesting game it's a little thing and it's uh, it's probably pretty good for casual gamers yeah but if you are a person who is seriously gaming like having gaming as a serious hobby then of course this game doesn't provide too much for a too long time i mean you can fiddle around a little bit and try out the max and they try to give some motivation by giving all these achievements and then you can of course try to have different strategies and we'll see what other mechs there are i mean they have interesting uh, abilities but that's the whole game here yeah the fourth uh, island has some other environmental things uh, environmental effects uh, but basically this is it yeah and i think i want to play once more with one mech uh, and uh, with one mech squad and go into the f uh, fourth island to have like a full uh, playthrough like the full run over all four islands uh, then we also get another achievement like the four island victory and now we've got the three island victory um but my suggestion is turn on save select one pilot to continue the fight so my suggestion is uh, oh, Archimedes is really good. But I think he's better. Technician, it's very... It's worthwhile. And I think we are just taking a look at the squad and you guys. Uh, we have three points now. Oh, we can actually try the Steel Yudoka as well. But uh, I think I'm going to play once more with the steel judo car and then maybe we can do another run and you guys you can decide which mech squad i should do uh, after that yeah i will keep this game it's not so big it, this is also like a positive thing um actually about this game that you can have it basically on every computer i guess even like small laptops or something and just play it it's it's a good a good brainy game yeah i think it's like thinking thinking wise it's uh, challenging and uh, you guys can then decide just write into the comment section please what other squad i should unlock yeah so this one would be the zenith guard the treatise beam technology and pinnacle shield technology create a powerful combination blitzkrieg RST engineers designed this squad around the mass destruction capabilities of harness lightning. Uh -huh, so here's a whip. So this uh, crawling thing. So this one looks like a artillery as well. This one looks like a laser or something. Like this one or like a rail gun or something. And this could be a tank or so. And this looks like something floating. And then here we've got the flame bear moth. Invincible to flames. This makes aim to burn any threat to ashes. Okay, interesting, but probably not doing enough damage, who knows, so. And then we've got the Frozen Titans, these Titans rely on the Cryo Launcher, a powerful weapon that takes an experienced pilot to master. Here we've got the Hazard Hazardous Mechs, these mechs have spectacular damage output but rely on nanobots feeding off dead vec to stay alive. I, I believe they will, with them uh, you lose every turn one HP or something. And then these guys, bomber max with a small army of remote explosives and flexible weapons. The tactical options are endless. Okay, I think these are new. And these ones, arachnopho arachnophiles. Research has shown that the remains of defeated VEC can be used to power smaller but no less deadly max. Oh yeah, that's nasty. And here we've got the Mist Eaters airborne particles provide the material necessary for nanobots to repair the, uh, these mechs. They are heat sinkers, advancements in heat transferal technology allow these mechs to absorb fire to power their weapons. And Cataclysm armed with RST earth shattering technology, these mechs can turn the very land against their foes. 
All right. And then there's a secret squad, but just for 25 coins. Humanity's last hope are a blend of machine and vec created to defend Earth. And they also have defeated Make that the remains to power smaller. Okay. Well, but you, as you can see, you know, like grinding through this game to earn these coins, so then you need, really need to be a fan. Uh, yeah, and every squad has three coins to earn with these special abilities. And globally, now we got the victory at any length. Ah, no, this is one coin uh, to uh, to win the game after two, three and four islands. Okay, then. Well, then. Yeah, so that's what, I, what I'm saying, so. I will not play this game regularly, but just occasionally. Next one will be the Steel Yudo Cars. And if you want, you can uh, write in the comment section for which uh, MacGuard uh, or Mac uh, team you vote, and then I'll just do it. Yeah. If you want. So, I hope you found this one cool and entertaining. Um, and of course, there are a, a number of pilots. Uh, to choose from, yeah. So, but that's the game. Um, please share your thoughts and you are very welcome also to join up the channel so you never ever miss uh, an episode again. See you next time. Bye bye.